Come here. The Grey Goose, Adventures of a Modern Robin Hood. One of my greatest claims to fame is that I always managed to stay a jump ahead of that modern Sheriff of Nottingham, Chief Inspector Ebenezer Ford. I was highly amused at the thought of examining the contents of a safe in the Sanderson mansion while Ben and Sanderson himself were in the study below. But I was a little too intoxicated with triumph as I hauled the booty out of the safe. Over went a chair, up st the stairs came Ben and Sanderson, and yours truly went out of the window and down the ivy, and thence to the fair Barbara, who was waiting with the Daimler. Judging by the way you ran down the street, Roly, you certainly had to make a fast getaway. <laughs> I'd scarcely time to leave one of my tokens. You're crazy. <laughs> oh, couldn't have the constabulary misled, my pet. But what a haul! Must be at least another 20 paintings in this bundle. Are they all Utrillos? As far as I can make out from glancing at them in my lap. Yes. <laughs> Forgeries. No doubt about that. So we've some 40 canvases to sell back to Gilbert Sanderson. And how he will have to pay for them. <laughs> but enough work for tonight. Homewards, Angel, and don't spare the horsepower. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Superintendent, but the confounded blighter was right above Sanderson and me all the time. What a nerve the fellow must have. Yes, we must hand it to him. No, we mustn't. Next thing we know, Ford, the Grey Goose will be a hero around here. Did you spot him at all? No. When we got upstairs into the bedroom, he'd gone through the window without letting us get a glimpse of him. Mm. And the upstairs safe had been opened, you say? Yes. Yet Gilbert Sanderson insists that nothing was missing from it. Yeah, that fellow seems to be wearing that particular story a little thin. So then it's transparent that Sanderson's up to something. I'm positive that from both the safe in the study and the one upstairs, something has been taken. But Sanderson is determined not to tell what it is. Well, it's confoundedly confusing and frustrating. At least we know there's a connection between the white feather Johnny and the grey goose. Mm. And there might well be some connection between Sanderson and that artist fellow, Brazard who was found shot in his studio. I'm bearing that in mind. Once more unto the breach, dear friends. Rowley, what now? <laughs> you press the buzzer, the bookcase swings open, you come waltzing into my flat and start to carry on like... like Lawrence Olivia. Mm, you flatter me. Barbara, my dear, we are about to broach the most important move in Operation Sanderson. I've been out this morning. I know, and I've been madly curious. Oh, I simply wanted to make sure that last night's haul did consist of Utilo forgeries. Old Isaac Waitley assures me that they are. Furthermore, he gave me an idea what they might be worth to a man who, say, was a dealer in counterfeit pictures. I'm curious about that too. Well, 40 Utilos on the market at the same time would greatly reduce the individual price. However, I think we may rest assured that not one of the said 40 will reach the open market. <laughs> Therefore, we charge top prices, 100 guineas apiece. 100 guineas each? Rowley, that means... Over 4,000 pounds for some deserving cause, such as you and me. Hmm? <laughs> and a little bit over for a charity to be named. I suppose Gilbert Sanderson has the money. I think he'd better have. He should have it. After all, there was a packet made over that chair fraud, and he got part of it. And this will be, in a sense, punishment for his part in leaving your dad to take the rap for the whole business. But about the murder angle, Rowley, that's if he did shoot that young artist. That must come out in due course. But one thing at a time. I must telephone that joker, dear Mr. Sanderson. He's coming up now, Barbara. Time to mask the old voice. Hello. Hello. Are you there? Who is that? Here goes. Um, am I speaking to Gilbert Sanderson? You are? Is Sanderson the art dealer? That is so. 
But who might I be speaking to? Uh, shall we leave that little detail out uh, for the present? I'm afraid I'm not in the habit of speaking to unidentified strangers on the phone. <laughs> oh, you'll identify me soon enough. Now listen to me, whoever you may be. Le no, no, no. You listen to me if you don't mind. I'll tell you why I'm me. It's in connection with a number of utrillos I have to sell. Uh, you, utrillos, you say? Yes. Forty of them, all told. Who the devil are you? Oh, uh, just a simple-minded sort of man, uh, trying to right a wrong here and there. In the Robin Hood tradition, you know. The Grey Goose. <laughs> what the blazes do you want? It's about those forty utrillos. You know to what I refer, I take it. I know nothing about you pillows. Oh, naturally. <laughs> you may not be pleased with what I propose to do with them. You see, I'm going to insist, insist, mark you, that you buy them back from me. The price is 100 guineas per canvas. Ridiculous, you can't. Oh, yes, I can. I dislike making threats, but in this case I must. Unless you carry out my instructions implicitly, these paintings will reach the police, together with their past histories. Hmm. Now, 40 times 100 guineas is something over 4,000 pounds. I haven't got that sort of money to buy rubbish. No? No. Th this art business isn't all that you, you blackmailers think. Possibly not. But I should imagine that it would be most lucrative when, A... You deal in share frauds as a sideline, and B, you pass off very skillful forgeries. You're talking a lot of rot. Rot or otherwise, Mr. Gilbert Sanderson. I don't intend to talk very much longer. I want that money tonight, in notes. I, I won't do it. I think you will. Now, uh, here are the instructions where to meet me this evening. Yes. Keep listening, please. What's the time now, Rowley? Hmm? Time? It's gone 8.30. Perhaps he's decided not to come. Oh, he'll be here. Don't you worry. Listen. That's a car now. Yes. Back in the chair. It's him, Rowley. On with your mask. It's on already. Mine too. Best of luck. Thanks. Uh, are you looking for someone? Much against my wishes. <laughs> <laughs> the grey goose wears a black mask, I see. An unfortunate encumbrance, but necessary. You have the money. You'll find it all in this package. Now you keep hold of it while I feel it. Hmm. Yes, you seem to have quite a deal of experience feeling bundles of notes. <laughs> I see you've been reading the newspapers. Well, this bundle should make quite a headline when it reaches the intended charity. There's another bundle lying on the ground, Sanderson, the Utrillo forgeries. I'll leave it to you to pick them up and get back into your car. Uh, uh, perhaps we'll meet again. I rather doubt it. May I get him? Rolly, in the back of the car, a man with a gun. Watch out. He got away. A clever ruse, my pet, and it nearly came off. Poor Sanderson. Rowley, is he... Very dead, I fear. But what happened? It was all so fast and confusing that I just didn't know what was going on. Well, Sanderson tried a swift one on me, thought he'd bump me off. But before you saw that gunman rising up out of the back seat of Sanderson's car, I'd spotted him myself. I was already diving at the blighter. The gunman started to shoot wild, and... Sanderson collected the bullets. Oh. The gunman, Sanderson's gunman, that is... Seeing what he'd done, sprang into the front seat of the car and went for his life. Apparently, there's such a thing as poetic justice. It's terrible. Now what are you doing? Leaving another grey token here with Sanderson and the forged utrillos. Then I'll contact Scotland Yard. Is that you, Inspector? Your ancient enemy here. Go on, go on, go on, say it. 
It's murder this time, Inspector. Murder at Chelsea, of which you know. Yes, that's tale news. But this is fresh. I've just seen it done. Well, then you'll have to testify. How are you going to subpoena me, my dear sir? <sighs> All right, go on. Take a police car to the Uxbridge Road. Go past Uxbridge. At a distance of exactly one mile, you'll find an old acquaintance of yours. Very dead, I'm afraid. A shot. Who is he? One Gilbert Sanderson. Good heaven, Sanderson! Yes, indeed. Lying near him is a roll of canvases. Paintings? Yes, painted by one Brazard, late of Chelsea, a forger of paintings employed by the um, late Mr. Sanderson. Did you shoot Sanderson? Inspector, dear, I never shoot. <clears throat> I never commit violence except when defending myself. No, um, the shooter, peculiar term, is one Terence Marr, quite a well-known character among the gang social sets. You're sure? Didn't I say I saw the shooting? Yeah, hurry, man, hurry. <laughs> Roly, <laughs> must you keep gloating over the newspaper, Pa? It boosts my ego. Listen, it would seem that the moguls of the yard should take stock of their talents when a lone operator can so swiftly expose such an outrageous art swindle single-handed. Single-handed? I could scream. Don't. Just cross another name off the list of the men who helped to ruin your father. Already crossed off. Sanderson. Ah, we can wash our hands of that affair. All right, but I have a souvenir. Just what do you mean by that? I've been very naughty. I kept one of those paintings. Perfidious? Perfidious, as I've always said. <laughs> I think it'll look very nice on the wall of my flat. Even if it is a forged utrillo. <laughs> <laughs> Listen again for the next adventure with Roland Fletcher, the modern Robin Hood, the man they call the Grey Goose.